What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of this week's Fan Mail of the Week. I am your host, as always, on Vinod Gaming. Thank you all for watching this week's episode, guys. Uh, we're almost nearing Halloween. It's about, what, a week and a half away. Uh, by the way, so many great movies on the Sci-Fi and AMC Network. For those of you out there who do have uh, cable television, Verizon, Dish, Satellite, whatever the case may be, uh, you might want to tune into those networks and watch some of the great, you know, horror flicks they have going on. I mean, being the case that it is Halloween, Halloween season, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will enjoy that. Uh, but thank you all for watching, everybody. I mean, we have a lot of questions to get through with today. Um, I'm also particularly very busy. I have a lot to do today, a lot of errands to run. I have to run here and there. Uh, just so many things to do. So let's begin our first question, which is from Daniel Brzezanten. Question number one. Do you think in the new series, if there is one, Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of the Z gang will visit the GT universe? Question number two, let's just say that in the movie, DBU is the 8th universe. I call the movie universe the 8th universe uh, in honor of my favorite movie character, Broly. Do you think somehow they will team up with Broly to fight an even greater threat? Uh, say maybe Broly picks a fight with the 8th God of Destruction, uh, and then Broly gets his ass handed to him, so maybe Broly will have to gang up with the Z fighters uh, from the 7th universe and maybe join, do you think this is more likely? Eh, I mean, eh, who knows? I mean, I give or take having another Broly in another universe, but go on. Uh, question number three, the Z fighters need Bills on their team because the only gods can uh, traverse the different realities or universes. Bills will make a great new member for the Z force. I heard his power level is at 100%, is 2 quadrillion, 600 trillion, uh, so he would be great if he joined, but he would need uh, a power-up if he's going to help Goku with the other gods of destruction. So last week, I heard you answer a question from a about uh, what if another god tried to kill Bills and Whis and Whis got in the way and tried to kill him instead, sacrificing himself for Bills. Do you think that Bills will fuse uh, with this Namekian style to boost his power and help Goku and the other gods? Uh, thank you for answering my questions, Alex. God bless. God bless you too, Daniel. Um, very interesting questions. To answer your first question, uh, number one, GT does never, it, it does not exist. After Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, that is it. You know, like, Akira Toriyama doesn't even recognize GT as even being a, a series in and of itself, you know what I mean? After the, the Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods movie, that is pretty much it. It does not go any further than that. Uh, so for them to have Goku and Vegeta visit the GT universe, it wouldn't make any, any sense at all, because why would they even go there if the universe doesn't even exist? You know what I mean? Um, that would just mess up the entire timeline of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT, because you would intersect Super Saiyan 4 and Super Saiyan God, and then you would intersect Gogeta and Omega Shenron and Bills, so, you know, not that many things would make any sense, you know, you, you, you would completely just, uh, distraught the entire story if you were to do that, so I think what Akira Toriyama wants to do is instead of even thinking about Dragon Ball GT, what I think Akira Toriyama wants to do is just focus on Dragon Ball Z alone and focus on, you know, Bills, Whis, the other gods, the Z fighters, and, and nothing more, you know what I mean? No, no Omega Shenron, no Baby, no Seventeens, anything like that, so I highly doubt that, uh, Goku and Vegeta will ever, ever revisit or even visit the GT universe. Um, to answer your second question, as much as you and I both love Broly, we have to accept the fact that I, I mean, at this point, there is no way they're going to bring Broly back. I mean, by them having an alternative Broly in another universe, then that means that they have to have an alternative Goku, an alternative Vegeta, you know, having different characters, uh, possibly same characters, but different personalities, like Goku would be evil and Vegeta would be good, and that right there would kind of throw the entire timeline of Dragon Ball Z off, because why would the Z fighters battle the Z fighters, you know what I mean? I, as, as interesting as that may seem, you know, having Mystic Gohan versus Evil Mystic Gohan and Goku versus Evil Goku, um... It wouldn't make any sense in a, in, in a way because we're talking about different universes, not different dimensions. You know what I mean? Uh, if there were different dimensions, then perhaps. But uh, given the fact that there's eight universes, that doesn't mean that every, any universe out there may consist a uh, similar character with with you know a different personality. Like you know, for example, Broly being the good guy. Uh, Broly will forever be known as the evil Saiyan that tried. <clears throat> to pretty much destroy the entire universe in and of itself. So I highly doubt Broly would ever even do that. Um, 
if, if Akira Toriyama ever brought Broly back, do I ever see Broly going up against a god? Yeah, sure, I could see Broly going up against Bills, but Broly would get smashed. There's no way that Broly can even compete with any of these characters. It's it's just, it's, it's, it's madness to even think that, you know what I mean? Because Broly, at this point, if he were to team up with the Z Fighters, would be nowhere near any of their power levels in and of itself, so... Uh, and to answer your third question, uh, I personally believe that Bills will join the Z Fighters. I mean, that that's just my take on it, you know what I mean? I personally feel like Bills will go on over and join the Z Fighters because I do believe that Bills uh, may request a little bit of help from Goku and Vegeta given the fact that they were one of the strongest fighters Bills has ever faced in his entire life. So I think if a plot line were to unfold of there being another god, you know, hundreds and thousands of times more powerful than Bills, then I do believe that Bills uh, would accept the Z Fighters as, you know, friends and join them on their quest to go ahead and defeat these gods. Um, but... Uh, in terms of Bill, Bill's fusing, I highly doubt Bill's will ever fuse. I mean, why would Bill's need a fuse? You know, his godly key is infinite. You know, does that mean his power is infinite? No, uh, but his key is infinite. So why would he need a fuse? You know what I mean? So as for, as for the possibility of him fusing, I, I really, I don't think that's the way to, you, you know, utilize Bills. I mean, because Bills is supposed to be his own god. Why would he need to fuse, you know what I mean? I mean, that's just my take on it, but uh, thank you for the questions, Mr. Daniel. It really means a lot to me, bro. Moving on, on to the last question, which is from The Strike Booster. It's Dragon Boy Pop. Hey, Alex, it's been a while, and I sent one of these before, uh, but since I watched them, so don't worry about it, and man, I look up to you like a brother I never had. Thank you. I remember you on Minecraft. I... <clears throat> Moving forward on to the next question, which is from the Strike Booster. It's Dragon Boy. Oh my God, I remember you. You're on Mind Wars, you son of a bitch, you. Hey, Alex, it's been a while since I've sent one of these, but I still watch them anyway, so don't worry about it. And man, do I look up to you like a brother I never had? Thank you, man. Uh, you're like a hero to me. I know uh, you might say I'm just human, or God, uh, but you should be your hero. And I just wanted to say that, so I look up to you. You're one of the quest. Th thank you, thank you so much, man. Uh, on to the questions. Here we go. Question number one. So who would win? Undertaker versus Stone Cold Steve Austin and why? Oh, that's, that'd be a good one. Uh, question two. In one of your videos, you said that there will be a PS5 and a new Xbox. Now, when I heard that, I was like, what the fuck? Can you please explain that to me? Okay, sure, no problem. Question number three. I hear you have a problem with your PS3 about friends list, but what if someone added you? Will you see it? Question four, relating to question two, uh, you say they're making a PS5 and a new Xbox, right? But why can't they just wait and make the PS4 and Xbox One? I think they really want our money. What do you think? Well, that, 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 that's indefinite. Uh, question number five, your thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Question six, who would win, Slender, Freddy, or Jason? Question seven, if you had to make another horror game, uh, what would it be about and for what console? Fan question, uh, would you guys think, uh, what, wait, would you guys think about making a GTA Online gang uh, so you could have gang wars with Alex to show what we can do? Oh, okay. Uh, those are all my questions for now. Uh, if I had an Xbox and GTA 5, uh, I would be dedicated to join you guys. I know I would survive. You know why? Shotgun. Oh, shotgun ain't gonna do shit. You whip out that shotgun, we'll just whip out RPGs and your ass will get blown to bits, yeah? Thanks, man. Have an awesome day. Thank you as well, man. Uh, to answer your first question, The Undertaker versus Stone Cold. Personally, I would love to see that uh, on WrestleMania. Can you imagine that WrestleMania 30, Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Undertaker? That, that would be absolutely amazing you know i mean we saw these two fight you know many 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 times before um but we never really saw these two clash at wrestlemania you know that would be a dream match you know uh some of the dream matches i wish they had for taker at wrestlemania were the undertaker versus the rock at wrestlemania undertaker versus sting at wrestlemania undertaker versus stone cold at wrestlemania undertaker versus hulk hogan at wrestlemania undertaker versus goldberg at wrestlemania undertaker versus john cena at wrestlemania even though they might do that this year um, but personally for me at WrestleMania, I do believe the Undertaker will take it. Um, but in and of itself, Stone Cold Steve Austin against the Undertaker. I mean, that would be such a great match at WrestleMania, in my opinion. Um, on a regular pay per view, I would have to say Steve Austin. Uh, but on on WrestleMania, I do believe that this would be the biggest main event ever. So I do would have to lean on the Undertaker for that one. Uh, to answer your second question revolving the PlayStation Five and the new Xbox, yes, they are making uh the two consoles and they're set for release in 2019. Um, there was 
was a bunch of articles released on uh, Yahoo, on IGN, uh, you know, statements from these companies stating that the next generation will be between 2018 and 2020. Uh, some of the window releases are looking for 2019. Uh, so that's when we're going to have the next Xbox and the next PlayStation. Um, personally, for me, I think it's way too short, you know, of a time frame for them to even do that if it is true um but having a playstation 5 and a new xbox come out you know in that time why you know what i mean like that wouldn't make any freaking sense because you just had you know the ps4 and xbox one come out in 2013 so why would you want to deliberately you know just wait another six years five years and then make a new console like it, it just boggles my mind really i mean personally for me how can i explain that they just want our money i mean at the end of the day these are corporations so i mean they look out for their own best interests so i mean that's pretty much that uh to answer your third question uh about the ps3 friends list i mean i i went to my settings and i took off the little thing on my settings uh so i i'm pretty sure you guys can add me now i mean i tried to add several people actually even my own friends and it would come out as an error i don't know what that means maybe i have to like unblock something or whatever but my ps3 is derped out anyway I'm, I'm gonna be selling it real soon so i can get the ps4 so um not that much time left until the uh, Xbox One and PS4 come out. So, uh, to answer your fourth question in relation to the second question, I do believe that they want our money because at the end of the day, like I just said, if you look at it, they are corporations. They don't really care about you know our best interests. They care about their interests. So if they do release another PS5 or whatever the case may be in a new Xbox, remember it's only for marketing. I mean, it, they 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 just want to make money off of it. So I think they should just give these consoles, you know, a run for their money rather than just going on ahead and just saying, oh hey, guess what? We have new consoles on the way. Like what the hell? Uh, to answer your fifth question, thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, uh, as I said in my previous Mind Wars episode, uh, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z will be really good. Will it be great? Probably not. Will it be the best Dragon Ball Z game ever? No. Um, the reason why I say that is because they don't have GT characters, they don't have create your own character mode, they don't have, you know, a significant roster, they have about 70 characters including transformations, so I mean, that's pretty much that, I mean, each slot even counts as a transformation, so, you know, it pretty much sucks, you know, um, but do I think Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z is gonna be a great game? Absolutely, I mean, I think it's gonna be a really good game, and, um, personally for me, I think that, uh, they're definitely going to capitalize off of it, especially for the next gen Dragon Ball Z game. Uh, so personally for me, I, I'm going to be getting it. I'm going to be bringing you guys some epic videos. So I really do hope you guys stay tuned for those because those are going to be amazing. Uh, to answer your sixth question, Slender would get raped, period. So it would have to go down between Freddy and Jason. If it was in the real world, then it would be Jason. If it was in the dream world, then it would be a Freddy. Uh, and to answer your seventh and last question, uh, what would what, what kind of a horror game would I make? I would make a horror game similar to The Last of Us combined with Left 4 Dead combined with uh, probably, I'm trying to think, hmm. Well, I mean, Left 4 Dead and The Last of Us would be great to have combined because i i mean number one it, it would definitely be a zombie game but it would definitely be one of those zombie games where it, it, it would just be downright amazing like you can just play with your friends i mean just the overall capacity and the amount of zombies on screen would be overwhelming you know i i, I would literally incorporate you know movie ideas as well from like world war z and dawn of the dead um 28 days later, 28 weeks later, so definitely I would incorporate those mechanics into my game if I were to make one, and uh, what console would it be for? It would be the, for the PS4, Xbox One, and for the PC, and to answer your final, final question, uh, if you guys want to make a gang and go up against my crew, that's no problem, we'll rape you guys with bats, so if you guys do want, uh, the link is in the description below in case you guys want to request me and add me on Social Club, on Rockstar Social Club, uh, so that's pretty much that, so thank you for the questions, Mr. Strike Booster. Moving on, on to the next question, which is from XX Domestic Production. Damn, what is it, like a violent production? Hey, Alex, good luck into getting the WWE, and let's get on to the questions. Thank you, bro. Question number one. Why do you think Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac got murdered? Question number two. In your last fan mail, you said no one was the hero. 
Uh, but really, it was Goku because he helped prevent Bills from blowing up the planet. Question three, do you think God made the Earth as an experiment? Question four, can I be on Mind Wars 3? Anyways, that's all I have for now. P.S. Fuck you, Yamcha. Fuck you, Squid. How's the chair? The chair is fucking horrible. F you, Paul. All right, um, to answer your first question, um, Tupac and Biggie, um, I mean, uh, there, there's a lot of clouds surrounding these two, and especially their deaths, because it was just very sudden and abrupt, you know what I mean? Um, but I personally feel like these two were murdered because they spoke the truth. They were murdered because they were competition. They were murdered because they were making a change in the industry. They were murdered because they were good. Um, to a certain extent, and I mean, I mean, there were, I, 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 I guarantee you they weren't, they weren't saints, um... But I believe that Tupac was murdered because he was going against the system. He always talked about Kaluminati and how the system wants to corrupt his image and make it seem like how he's the bad guy when in reality all he's trying to do is just make great music, influence the culture, get people to wake up, and just do all sorts of good stuff. So I believe Tupac was a, you know, kind of like a good guy in a sense, because I'm pretty sure he did a lot of bad stuff as well, um, so I'm not calling him a saint whatsoever, but I do believe that Tupac, um, was actually trying to break free of the system, and just pretty much trying to help his friends and his family and his mom and, you know, all that stuff, so, um, I believe Tupac was murdered because he was starting to amount to a level in which he was starting to get, bigger than the industry, you know, like, Tupac was at a point where he was almost bigger than the entire music industry, um, you know, at, at that point, nobody really cared about Snoop Dogg that much, nobody really cared about Dr. Dre that much, nobody really cared about, you know, Murder, Inc. that much, nobody really cared about Mob Deep as much as Tupac, you know, especially on the West Coast, I mean, uh, as for the East Coast, Biggs, um, Biggie Smalls was absolutely amazing on the microphone, um, Sure, I do believe the guy made a bunch of mistakes in his life, and is he a saint? Hell no. Um, but I believe that Biggie was also murdered because he kept it real, you know what I mean? Biggie did not want to sell out to nobody, and I believe uh, Puff Daddy, a.k.a. P. Diddy, I believe he had a very great influence on Biggie's death. Um, even though it may not seem like he did, in the end, it's all about money. I mean, the world is ran by money. Corporations are run by money. People are controlled by money, you know. Um, <clears throat> I believe that a lot of people see money as their god these days, you know what I mean? So, um, from my standpoint, Tupac and Biggie were actually going to revolutionized the music business until, you know, they were put to rest, uh, along with other artists as well, like Aaliyah and, and, you know, so many other countless artists, even, you know, uh, as of recent years, like, you know, uh, Michael Jackson and, and just so on and so forth, you know, the list goes on and on and on and on. Um, but that's my personal belief on why those two were murdered. Uh, to answer your second question, I, I mean, Goku was the hero, but in a sense, you know, nobody won is what I'm trying to say. Um, he didn't really prevent Bills from blowing up the planet. Bills just didn't have enough energy to do that. Um... Now that I think about it, yeah, I mean, because Bills never really had the energy in the end to actually go through his, with, with his attack, you know, um, if, if you watch the English subversion, you would know exactly what I'm talking about, because in the English subversion, you actually saw that Bills clearly said that he didn't have enough power left, you know what I mean, like, he wasn't able to go through with, you know, blowing up the planet, so the only people you have to thank for that is Goku, in a sense, but you also have to thank the other Z fighters as well, because if it wasn't for them giving Goku their powers and, you know, pretty much allowing him to become a Super Saiyan God, there, there would have been no way that Goku would have stopped him. Um, Goku is a very, very significant uh, character within Battle of Gods because he play, he does play a huge role. And a lot of people often hate Goku for that. They look at Goku like, oh, Goku took the spotlight. Yeah, sure, maybe. Maybe Goku did take the spotlight, but he took the spotlight, you know, for for a good cause, you know what I mean? Because, I, I mean, as much as we would all love to see somebody else go on ahead and defeat Bills, uh, there would be no possible way that anybody else were to do so. Not even Goku, you know? Um, a lot of people thought that when Goku went Super Saiyan God, that he was going to crush Bills, you know what I mean? And he didn't do that. <coughs> 
He uh, Bills Bills completely outclassed him. So in in in, in this scenario, uh, Goku and Vegeta and everybody else prevented Bills from blowing up the planet. Um, but ultimately, what it, what it really comes down to is the fact that Bills just ran out of energy. So. Uh, to answer your third question, did God make the Earth as an, as an experiment? I mean, who knows, man? I mean, at this point, you know, um, I'm willing to believe that God made the Earth for a very significant purpose and a very significant reason. Um, was it an experiment? I mean, we would never know. Was it, uh, you know, all, for all intents and purposes, something that it should be taken lightly? I mean, we would never know. I mean, a lot of people often want to go out and say, yeah, we have all the answers, when in reality, they don't know shit. Um, but it's just like, we, we have so many other things to explore and so many other things to, you know, go out and venture out and do and, you know, research that people get caught up in the fact that, is there a God? You know, how could you believe that there's not, you know, you haven't even explored outside of your own universe, let alone, you know, in, in, into the other cosmos, you know, I'm, a lot of people often dwell on the fact that, you know, oh, there might be other universes out there, you know, the multiverse theory, you know, there's so many other theories out there, so many possibilities, and just people want to sit there and say, oh, there's not a god, you know, like, bitch, please, like, once you explored your own universe, then, then you come with that conclusion. But if you can't do that, then you have no fucking proof that there isn't, right? I mean, just it, it's just, man, it just pisses me off. Um, but if people want to believe that there isn't a God, that's fine. I mean, that's your belief. You want to believe that, then fine. Um, but what I'm saying is, you know, you never really know what's out there. So did God make the earth as an experiment? Who am I to say that? You know what I mean? I, I really don't know. I mean, it could be, but... And to answer your last question, unfortunately, Mind Wars 3 is full. Yes, Mind Wars 3 is full. There is no more room left because we already whitelisted everybody. Um, I'm really sorry for that, man. I mean, unless somebody else leaves, uh, then there will be a position available if you want to reply to that or something, whatever the case may be. Um, but I'm pretty sure there are going to be some opening spots before the actual big war goes down. So uh, you just, all you have to do is just stay tuned, man. Uh, but thank you for the questions, bro. It really, really means a lot to me. Thank you. Anywho, on to the next question, which is from Luke Drums. Yeah. Hey, bro. Da. Hey, what's up, bro? Da. Bro, fist me. Want to fist me, bro? Haven't sent the fan mail in a while, so I thought I'd send one. All right, here we go. Question number one. Pre-Crisis Superman versus Bills. Damn. Question two. Every character in Dragon Ball Z slash GT versus full-powered Galactus. Galactus for me. Oh, that's that, that would actually... Hmm. All right, well, I'll answer that right now. All right, question three. Battle of Gods wasn't that great. Okay. The scenes with Emperor Pilaf took way too much screen time, uh, way too much talking, and I don't understand how Vegeta managed to hit Bills. Question four. Uh, do you know how much Tony Animation made from the DVD sales? Question five. Are you a fan of Jack and Dax for the series I Needed Jack for? Question six. Do you consider yourself a... Sh well, do you consider yourself have to have a short tempo? P.S. You're awesome and God bless. Thank you, Luke. Uh, to answer your first question, um, shit. Uh, yeah. Um, this is kind of hard. I, I mean, I would have to go with, I would have to go with probably Superman. I mean, because pre-crisis Superman is indestructible. So, I mean, Bills, we saw him. He fought Super Saiyan God Goku, and he only used about, what, 60%, 70% of his power? So, um, and that was just against Super Saiyan God Goku alone. Can you imagine pre-crisis Superman? I mean, to me, I would have to lean more towards Superman, um, but don't quote me on that because, I mean, I, I'm not really entirely sure. I mean, it, just by an educated guess, I would have to say Superman because I never really, I, I never ever saw Bills try ever, so... Uh, who's to really say, you know, that Bills can't win, but in this case scenario, I would have to say Superman. Uh, to answer your second question, honestly, I would have to go with the Dragon Ball Z people. Um, and this is why I say why. All right, um, a full power Galactus. All right, he's very powerful indeed. Like, we saw when he fought, you know, uh, the Avengers and whatnot. Like, this dude fought everybody, and he fucking wiped everybody out. Um, but you're talking about every character in Dragon Ball Z and GT. I mean, that's just all you really need is Vegito. You need Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. You need Omega Shenron. You need Kid Buu and Super Buu Gohan Absorbed. You know, and Super 17 along with Baby. You know what I mean? Like, those characters alone would be enough 
to pretty much, you know, bring Galactus to his knees, especially if those characters were to, like, you know, go hard. Um, but in any case scenario, I would have to say all of the Dragon Ball Z slash GT characters because, number one, those are a lot of characters, and I'm sure a lot of characters would fall quicker than others. But in the end, I think that the Dragon Ball Z characters and the Dragon Ball GT characters would come out victorious. So, I mean, that, that's just my opinion. Who knows, you know? I mean, you're saying Galactus. Tell me why you say Galactus. I want to know this. Um, to answer your third question, I do agree. Emperor Pilaf, you know, he took a lot of screen time and there was a lot of talking. Um, the only reason why there was a lot of talking that is if you saw the English subtitle version, um, then you would actually see why there was a lot of talking because they were pretty much getting into the story. They were pretty much explaining why everything came about, you know what I mean, they were explaining, you know, the origins of Super Saiyan God, and they were explaining why Bill was awoken, and they were explaining why Vegeta was doing what he was doing, um, the only reason why Vegeta was able to hit Bill's was because when Bulma got slapped, Vegeta's inner strength, his inner power just flared, and from there he was, for a brief moment that is, he was 10 times more powerful than Goku would ever be, so that's why he was able to manage, you know, a couple of hits on Bills until he got completely outclassed, so, um... I do believe that you're right with the whole Emperor Pilaf thing. Emperor Pilaf should have never been in the film. Um, but Battle of Gods was great to me. I mean, because just because of the story alone, you know, and the fact that it's not over. You know, all the other Dragon Ball Z movies, you know, you saw the villain die. You know, in this case, the villain didn't die. The villain lived, you know. So that that's kind of like, whoa, what's going to happen in the next movie? You know, is he going to come back stronger? I mean, who knows? Um... To answer your fourth question, that I do not know because DVD sales are still, you know, uh, going on through. So I, I can't really say how much they made off the DVD sales. But I do encourage DVD sales purchases because that would actually support the series. So uh, to answer your fifth question, am I a fan of Jack and Daxter? I am, but I never played it. I mean, oh, I can't really say I never played it. I played one of the Jack and Daxter games, but I didn't really get what was going on because I do believe it was like the second or third game. Um, but am I a fan? Sure. I mean, I, I like Jack and Daxter, you know, I, I like the whole concept of Jack and Daxter, but I never really got into the series as much. So, um, I, I'm, I'm like barely a fan of Jack and Daxter. I mean, maybe it's because I haven't gotten into it as much. That's why. So, I mean, I, that, that's just my opinion. So, and to answer your last question, do I consider myself to have a short temper? Uh, no, I actually have a lot of patience and, you know, I can dish a lot of bullshit until you cross that line. And then once you cross that line, there is no person on this planet that can save you from what I'm going to do to you if you cross that line. You know, not saying you in particular, but, you know, for those people who want to push my buttons. So, uh, for me, do I have a short temper? No, I do not. Uh, but thank you for the questions, Luke. It really means a lot to me, bro. And now, on to the next question, which is from 100th at Edge. Hey, Alex, decided once again to send you fan mail, but first, what I needed you to do is put your hand over your heart, and as loud as the voice would say, WE THE PAPER! Why did I just fucking do that? Oh my god. Okay, now on to the questions. Question number one, are you going to get WWE 2K14? Ah, fucking course I am. Uh, if so, which wrestler uh, on the 30 years of WrestleMania main roster are you looking forward to playing as? Question two, who would win in this battle? War Greymon, Charizard, Pikachu, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta versus Dioboromon, Mewtwo, Entei, Super 17, and Omega Shenron. Damn. That is a good fight. Uh, question three, if you could book the main event for WrestleMania 30, what would it be? Good question. I like that. Question four, not really a question, but you may not like uh, country, but check out this song by Aaron Lewis called Country Boy. You may like it. He talks about some true stuff in the song. There's a link. Thank you, man. All right. Well, that's it for now, Alex. Heal the good work. You are truly one of the best. And remember, we the people. Yes, we the people. All right. Um, to answer your first question, I'm looking forward to playing as a lot of characters. Macho Man Randy Savage, Ric Flair, Goldberg, um, Ultimate Warrior. You know, I'm really looking forward to that. E fuck it. Even Hulk Hogan. So uh, a lot of interesting things that I'm going to be doing for WWE 2K14. So you guys might want to have to stay tuned for that because it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'm going to bring you some of the best what if fights and storyline fights that you guys could ever see on here. So, uh, 
WWE 2K14, you guys might want to stay tuned because I'm telling you right now, it is going to be bananas. Um, to answer your second question, holy shit. Um, oh shit, that, that's a good question. I would have to say the winners would be Dio Boromon, Mewtwo, Entei, Super 17, and Omega Shenron. For the simple fact that Omega Shenron alone proved that he's much more powerful than two Super Saiyan 4s. So that right there has just been, you know, debunked. Uh, Charizard and Pikachu would get raped by Mewtwo. Diaboromon already proved to have raped War Greymon. Super 17 and Entei are left, you know, by themselves. So that pretty much just does not even the odds whatsoever. So, um... You know, I, I, I do like the fact that, they, that, you, that you did include this because this actually throws the best of both worlds, you know what I mean? Um, it's pretty awesome. I wish a lot of people were to do this. You know, this, this would be awesome. War Greymon, Charizard, Pikachu. That, that's just awesome. So I would have to say the second team, in my opinion. Uh, to answer your third question, which I really like a lot, uh, if I could book the main event for WrestleMania 30, what would it be? All right, th these would be my main events. I would have three main events. I would have... The Undertaker versus John Cena for the streak, of course. I would have Daniel Bryan versus CM Punk for the WWE title on the line. And I would have The Rock versus Randy Orton. Um, and the only reason why I say Rock and Orton is because those are both, you know, third generation superstars and, you know, the story that would be told from those two would be absolutely amazing. Um, another main event that I would actually semi have, like a semi main event would be, um, the shield versus the Wyatt family. That would be amazing right there. The shield versus the Wyatt family. That, that, that would be sick. Um, I, I would do a lot for WrestleMania 30. If I was the booker, uh, booker, if I was the booker, if I was the booker, I would make some great matches. Um, and to answer your final question, uh, Aaron Lewis, country boy, I'm going to look it up as soon as this is done. If I have time, cause I have to run some errands. Um, but definitely I will look into that. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, I mean, hopefully it's a good song because I, I, I do listen to country. I, I listen to Johnny Cash and, um, <clears throat> I listen to some country here and there. So, I mean, if it's, if it's a good song, then why not? So, but thank you for the questions, my good friend. We the people. Moving on. On to the next question, which is from Hugo Montelio. Why, hello, Alex. Hello, hello. What's up, bro? Just wanted to ask you some questions on the sibling sketch. You made me spill my soda when you beat the shit out of them. Yes, those were our intentions. Poor Justin. All right, here we go. Question number one. Hey, at the moment, I am being bullied. Can you help me? Question two, have you ever thought that if we made world peace, there would be a lot of jobs shut down like cops, etc. But in return, we would have no lives lost. Well, eh, to a certain extent. Well, those are all my questions for now. I hope you get a new chair and you would make a video on your old chair being burned. Oh, my God. Bye, Alex P.S. Fuck you, government. All right. Well, to answer your first question, um, if you're being bullied, the first thing I would advise you to do is do not allow that to pretty much take over your life. Do not succumb to bullying because people that succumb to bullying are often going to go into the direction of suicide or possibly other things like drugs and whatnot. And you don't want to do that. Um, if I were you, uh, you're being bullied. If I were you, I would actually go on ahead and stand up for myself. Um, if it's one kid, two kids, three kids, it doesn't matter, you know, like represent yourself, you know, don't, don't allow somebody to just walk all over you, you know, you're a person, you know, like you're, you're, you're not a worm, you're not, you know, some, some bug that's going to be crushed by somebody else, no, you know, don't allow yourself to be succumbed by other people's opinions or their action, if somebody physically touches you, you have every right to physically touch them back, no homo, um, but like, if somebody were to hit you, you hit them back. You know what I mean? Like that that's just how it goes. Don't be the first person to start trouble. Um always mind your business in a productive manner. Um if somebody wants to, you know, pick a fight with you, then it's their fight that they're going to be picking because in the end, um if you stand up for yourself and you actually go on ahead and rebuttal against their actions, they're not going to bother you again. Um but number 1, mentally do not allow this to succumb uh, or just take over your life because if it does, you're going to have a lot of self-doubt. You're going to like, you know, start questioning your stuff. You're going to start putting yourself down and you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Um, 
people that bully other people are often very, very weak-minded people. You know, they have nothing else better to do uh, than to rip on somebody else, you know, to, to satisfy their own ego, to satisfy their own satisfaction. Um, I don't know why they're bullying you, but for whatever reason they may be, do not allow them to actually, you know, take control um, of your of your own actions. You know, you're, you're the leader of your own actions. You know, why let somebody else control that? So... Um, that's the best advice I can give to you, man, is just be mentally strong. And if somebody wants to go on ahead and do something, you do it right back, man. Uh, to, and to answer your last question, I mean, I, I, I think cops would still be around because, I mean, just because we have world peace doesn't mean that there's not going to be any crime. Um, so I believe that there will be a lot more crime. Um, but in the long run, uh, I think that if world peace was established, um, we would actually progress forward as a species even farther than we are now. Like, in the end, we would actually, um, you know, be able to do so much more with ourselves and our own civilizations than ever before, you know? So, uh, I mean, like, like I just said, just because world peace is established doesn't mean there wouldn't be any crime. Um, so I do think that the police jobs and whatnot would still remain a factor and still stay around. Um... But as for everything else, I mean, I think the world would be a much, much better place if and only if people were to pull their heads out of their asses and just be fucking civil for once in their lives. Just get along with each other, you know? But thanks for the questions, man. It really means a lot. Moving forward. What time is it, by the way? Let me see real quick. What time is it? Oh, shit. I gotta be going in a few. Damn it. All the hell. I swear to God, like, weekends and weekdays, it's just like, don't you guys wish that you just never had to do errands and just, like, have to take care of... I mean, sometimes when you get older, you have a lot of responsibilities, and that just sucks. I mean, don't you just wish you were a kid? I do. I mean, if, if I had the Dragon Balls, I'd wish for myself to become a kid again. But anyways, moving on to the next question from Eddie Peterson. Hey, Alex, just wanted to ask you some questions. Go on ahead. Hopefully, I'm in this week's fan mail. Anyways, on to the questions. Question number one, will you be buying Batman Arkham Origins and be doing a full walkthrough on it? Question number two, at the end of Battle of Gods, do you think Bills actually tried to destroy the planet, but he said he quote-unquote ran out of power? Question two, Hawkeye versus Green Arrow. Question three, Justice League versus the Avengers. I think the Justice League, but don't get me wrong, the Avengers have some heavy hitters, uh, but that's... Wait a minute, didn't I... Didn't I answer that last week? I did, actually, I did. I did! I did! I did! Alright, um, question number five, uh, Broly versus Mr. Gohan, I think Broly would get destroyed, but my friend is arguing with me all the time about the fight. Question six, Darkseid and, 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 and Bills versus Goku and Superman, damn. Question seven, Orion, son of Dark, says, oh, my, Vis Vegeta, oh, oh, shit, Orion, son of Darkseid, or Vis Vegeta, oh, my God, um... Damn, you're really classifying this. Uh, look, look at that, another question. Question number eight, Silver Surfer versus Goku and Superman. Well, those are all the questions I have for this week's Fan Mail of the Week. You're going to make it far in your wrestling career, and God bless you. Thank you. That that right there, just thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. P.S. Fuck it, I'm trying. All right, question, uh, to answer your first question, uh, will I be doing Batman Arkham Origins? You can bet you're white ass I am, or black, or Latino, Chinese. For all I know, you could be a fucking alien. I don't know. I mean... Are you are you a reptilian or some fucking gray alien? I don't know, but yeah, I, I am gonna be doing uh, Batman Arkham Origins. I mean, uh, the only reason why I'm gonna be doing it is because number one, it's Batman, and number two is because they have some of my favorite hitters in that game, which are you know Deathstroke and whatnot. So I mean, I I cannot freaking wait. And Bane's gonna be in there too, so that's gonna be awesome. So. Uh, to answer that question, it is a yes, 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 yes. I can't wait for that. Uh, to answer your second question, um. Even though Bill said he ran out of power, um, being that he's a god, I really think he was bullshitting. I mean, being that he said it from his mouth, all right, I ran out of power, so you got lucky. Um, he could have been telling the truth, but at the same time, he could have been bluffing all along. I mean, he, he is the god of freaking destruction. So um, for him to say he ran out of power, it's kind of like iffy. It's like, well... Did you really run out of power or did you just kind of like said, fuck it, I don't want to do it anyway because like this planet should just remain the way it is. You know what I mean? I mean, who knows? Maybe in the next movie, if he does come back, he might actually blow it up. We don't know. Uh, to answer your third question, I would have to say Green Arrow. 
To answer your fourth question, uh, you think the Justice League? I think the Avengers. Um, the Avengers do have a lot of, you know, hard hitters. Um, but like you just said, I mean, Superman, you know, he, he's a very high caliber, you know, character. Um, but I believe that if Hulk, Thor, you know, all of these characters were to focus on Superman more than anybody else in, 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 the, in the early fight and eliminate Superman, then you are screwed. Um, other than that, you have, what, Green Lantern, you have, you know, he, some characters here and there. Um, but in the end, I think it's the Avengers, man. I mean, don't you think they should make a movie of this one day in Hollywood? That, that would be amazing. The Justice League versus the Avengers. That, that would be the highest grossing movie in history, in my opinion. That, that, that movie right there would be amazing. Uh, to answer your fifth question, it's not even a question. Mystic Gohan would crush Broly because Mystic Gohan's powers are far above Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So, Broly couldn't even defeat Super Saiyan 1 Goku, let alone anybody else. So, I mean, for him to defeat Mystic Gohan, Mystic Gohan would crush him. Uh, to answer your sixth question, I would have to say Bills and Darkseid. Uh, just because those two would actually, they, they would probably take out Superman first. And then probably focus in on Goku. Uh, so I would have to say Dark Side and Bills. Uh, to answer your seventh question, uh, shit, I would have to say probably probably Orion. I, I I think Orion would decimate Vegeta. Actually, hold on. Eh. No, I take that back. I know I th I think Vegeta would decimate Orion because now that I think about it, if Vegeta actually went on ahead and used all of his power at once, like he did when he fought Majin Buu. Then I do believe Orion is in fucking trouble, so. And to answer your last question, Silver Surfer versus Goku and Superman, you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going for Superman and Goku. Fuck that. I mean, I think they're I think they're more than powerful enough to take on Silver Surfers. I mean, Silver Surfer's fucking tough, like, don't get me wrong. But with those two, like, you know, working together, oh man, Silver Surfer's screwed. But that's just my little opinion, so. But thank you for the questions, my good sir. Whew, I gotta get going because it is about to be nighttime very, very soon in a couple hours. But anyways, everybody, thank you all for watching this week's episode of Fan Mail of the Week. My name is Unvid Entertainment Gaming. I apologize once again if I did not get to answer all of your questions, guys. I mean, I get hundreds of questions per day, so it's really, really really hard to just keep up with all that but i really hope you guys enjoyed remember there is another episode next week so don't forget to submit your questions guys i hope you all enjoyed rate comment subscribe if you haven't already done so for all the latest news information updates leave your thoughts below guys and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode peace and i gotta go fucking food shopping i gotta go fucking paper shopping for bear god damn it